All right, so it's about eight years ago I made this video on how to edit this photo. It originally looked like this, right? And I'm going to do that now in the new Adobe uh, CC. So we're going to use uh, Photoshop. And so when I have it, I'm just going to go to File, Open. Now I'm using a RAW file. I'm going to look at my downloads here. Here's the RAW file. If it's a JPEG, you could do it. You would just have to open it as RAW. So here it opens up, and I went right to Crop Mode, which typically it's opening in the Edit Mode here. But uh, yeah, let's crop it right away. So, um, you know, there's a lot of extra here and it's on an angle, which I don't really do as much now. I want to keep in mind the rule of thirds, kind of keeping this eye on here. So let's kind of level it out a little bit. I kind of like this in the foreground. So I'm going to crop it to right about there. I can't really get much lower if I want to keep this, uh, this uh, proportion, I guess you'd say. Um, well, let's about get right there and just gonna enter. And here I have it now. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, and by the way, you can adjust these panels. Like if you don't have that many, you can just like get rid of it completely. Um, but I'm going to adjust the exposure. So it was here originally. I'm just going to pull it up to where I want. So I'm going to say right about there. And right away I'm like, you know, this looks all right. But, you know, sometimes the uh, temperatures are wrong. This just isn't accurate. So you can move this around. Um, you can look to see what it was as shot. To me it looks a little cool. I like to kind of make my images warmer and a little more exposed. You can also choose auto and see what it does, but that's way off. Plus 30, way too much. So I'm going to go back to about 7,500, and I'm going to bring that tint down. So you see the tint between green and kind of magenta color here. And I'm going to say maybe plus 16, let's say. All right, this image is already looking so much better, right? <laughs> um, and then I can just kind of work down through uh, the rest of these. So for contrast, you know, contrast is basically, you know, the difference between light and dark. So this is maybe you know, good to starting place, but you just decide how much contrast do you want. You don't want it to look too much. I don't know. I don't like that look myself, but maybe right around there looks good. If you have it really high, um, like the exposure here, you know, like that's blowing things out. You'll have no detail in the shot. So, okay. So let's go right about here. Highlights. So if you look at her shirt or what's behind her head, you can see um, you might want to pull those down if they're distracting. If they're not, I won't worry too much about it. Um, and then shadows. If you look in the dark parts of her eye or in her hair, you can see, uh, you can bring those up. So if you lost some detail and you want to show that, you can do that with the shadows. Um, I don't really mind where it's at myself. And then you have whites as well. So I'm going to pull that down just a little. And here's blacks, so you can see, change the exposure of those too. Now, this is uh, texture. Texture is nice if you want to show some more detail, but this is a face. So like, I probably wouldn't do too much texture, okay? You could do a little bit, but you're going to have to go back through and then, like, maybe soften the skin a little bit. And then we also have clarity, which is a lot like texture. It's a little different. Um, and you can go down through. Now, vibrance and saturation are very much related. Um, I typically just change the saturation a little bit if I want. Um, I do like higher saturation on the background, but not so much her face. So let's just kind of average it out, maybe right in there. And so let's also um, look at some detail here. You know, I think I'm going to pull the clarity down a little bit. You know, when I zoom in and, and, and look, you when you start to see pores and things like that, you might want to take the uh, texture down a little bit more and clarity if you would like. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good there. Um, next thing would be um, working in particular areas. Now let's finish up this part. So um, I'm not going to mess with the curves here. We could go to detail. So let's zoom in a little bit. So right down here I can you know, go to whatever percent I need. So let's look at it at 66%. I don't need to go to full percent. I'm going to use my, my space bar and look more at the face here. All right, great. So we can sharpen. You can sharpen a lot, but then it basically just kind of looks sandy and grainy and stuff, right? So uh, I'm going to bring it down, and then here's color noise and noise reduction. If you turn those up, it'll get rid of some of that noise and kind of smoothen out the skin a little bit as well. But I do want some sharpening because, like, the eyes and and little details and hair and things like that. I want that to show well. Uh, you can go look at color mixer. You can go through the saturation. Maybe um, someone has acne and you want to take the reds and pull them down. But of course, she doesn't. And we want to keep you know those colors true. Uh, a lot of times, I will bring up greens because you know if, if they're not wearing green, I might as well make the background look nice and green. You can mute it or you can bring it up. I think bringing it up looks nice. It's good contrast between skin tones. Um, and you can go through there. So like luminance, for example, is like well how you know, how light do you want to make red? How dark do you want to make red? I'm not going to change any of those. I'm just keeping them at zero. But you could go through that and change it. 
And let's look at effects. Um, I I like vignetting. I do. Um, you know, you can you can make it lighter or you can make it darker. Now her face is over here. It's near the edge already, but it does mute out the background over here. So I actually do like some vignetting. I usually do between like 10 and 25, something like that, especially if it's not a group of people. Um, so there, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now let's start to use some of these other tools on the side. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, maybe even go to 100%. <clears throat> So we have these extra hairs here, and an easy way to take care of that is right here is the heel brush, and you can do a smaller brush by using the little brackets that are above the, kind of underneath the uh, plus sign on your keyboard, and you can go there and just kind of highlight it, and what it does, it shows you that it's going to take this and put it over there to get rid of um, that hair. Now if you're doing just hairs, you can probably go a little bit smaller and just go in there and and cover some of these up. Now, I've, I'm not going to go through all of these because that's just probably a little excessive. We don't need to do all of it for this video, but you get the idea. You can remove hair that way, okay? Um, so you go through there and do that. I wouldn't take away, like, like this is a mole. Like, I, I wouldn't take that away that, but, like, this might be a blemish. So, you know, you can highlight that area, too, and, and move it. And what you can do is you can actually grab that, that spot. If you don't think it did a good job grabbing a similar skin tone or texture, you can just move it and hit enter and Looks like I did a pretty good job there. Okay, uh, next one would be, uh, right here is the masking brush. All right, and it looks like I already have a mask. Let me get rid of those here. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I can do Control plus and minus. All right. And <clears throat> here what I can do is, uh, ooh, I already have the eyes selected here. So actually, let me, let me show you how to do that. So if I zoom in, let's do the eyes first, yeah. There they are. And I'm going to take my brush, which is already selected, I believe. All right, so here's mask. I can do create new mask if I don't have one. I'm going to brush one, okay? Now, they do have options where you can select sky, which is super helpful. Um, and you can do like a radial or linear gradient if you have an object where that makes sense. I don't think it makes sense for here. I'll show you one though in a minute. But I'm going to use brush. And so I'm just going to highlight the eyes, okay? Right in here, and she has these nice hazel eyes. So let's show that off a little bit. So we can uh, expose it. You see how that red disappears? I can show the eyes a little more, right? Because a lot of times they're kind of underneath the brow, and it's not as bright as you want. Um, you could even pull up the saturation on that as well, and just so if I turn it down, you don't see a huge difference, but there's low and there's high. And let's bring that up, make the eyes pop a little bit. Um, you could even add like uh, texture to it, which might make it show up. I don't know if that'll look unnatural and sharpness for example you can go through there as well um all right that looks pretty good i like that so i'm going to hit enter and that's going to finish that one that's a mask too and they show these tiny little dots up here um i'm then going to also create another mask after i zoom out control minus and you can see already like i i like that i mean you can turn it on and off and you can kind of see her eyes flash a little bit that looks awesome all right i'm going to create another mask and um let's show you what a gradient or linear gradient would look like. So what that does is I can click and drag, and I could do it for like this area. And for something like that, maybe what I'd do is just pull the exposure down in the background. And it does this, you know, gradually, basically. Um, I can take down some of the highlights too, or uh, decrease the contrast. Whatever whatever looks good to you is fine. Um, I typically probably use the brush a little bit more. I'm going to do my mask, and I'm just going to brush. And one thing I like to do is kind of grab the hair a little bit here. So you can see, by the way, there's like a double circle. That depends how much you feather it. So I don't need to feather that much. Something like this here. Great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of highlight some of the hair. I'm not going to be too picky, especially for this. Right. And you can take something like that. And yeah, you can change the exposure of the hair. I don't really want to do that. Instead, I could change the contrast of it. Make her hair look a little more dynamic, right? Instead of faded out. Um, makes it look more rich. Uh, you could even play with the hair color if you wanted to here. I, I wouldn't, maybe. Maybe I'll make it a little more saturated to show the browns a little bit more. Um, and then the clarity. So the clarity just makes that hair look just a little sharper. You don't want to do too much. If it looks too off from her face, you don't want to do that, okay? Um, and so you can see that right in there, right? Okay. Um, and some people would maybe make a mask for the skin and like soften that out, and you could do that. But let me just show you really quick. If I did uh, a brush, and they had like some rough skin or whatever. You know, you can go through there and you can highlight those areas. I'm just going to do a little bit. She has really good skin, so I don't think this is totally necessary. But let's say, you know, it's problem areas, let's say. I'll do it right across the nose even too. Um, 
And if I zoomed in, you know, just have to zoom way in to really even see this. And uh, what you can do is go down to your clarity and texture, and you could pull that down. So like, here's here's high texture, and here's like no texture at all. All right. So you could do a little bit, depends on the person's skin and everything. Um, you don't want it to look unnatural, but it might be something the client wants. You could do the same thing with clarity as well. Um, I just caution doing it too much, and you can always undo it. You can always come back, select these brushes, and then and then change it as well. All right, we'll say that's good, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You don't want it to look too plasticky, right? So one last thing, if yours doesn't look like this at this point, you can also go down here to these dots. I'm sorry, this uh, kind of double circle thing. They have all these presets, and you can go through there and, and check them out. Honestly, like it's not a bad place to start and look at to get ideas and kind of you know get your style I just go for like a very natural but beautiful you know colorful maybe a little more contrast and exposure than some would want that's what I like and so that's what I go with right um, but you can see this is way better now when I'm done with this you could hit done but then you won't see it anymore okay uh, so I'm gonna hit open and it's gonna take a second but it's gonna open up in Photoshop and then I could do further work if I wanted to but I am happy with this so then I'm going to go to file uh, export and you could do save as by the way um, and save this as a PSD and do other work um, but I'm just gonna do export as and I'm going to choose JPEG and then you can decide what resolution you'd like if you're gonna print it, highest resolution 100% go all the way um, but if it's uh, you're gonna put it online you may actually decide to um, scale it down um, because it might look better on a screen if you do the compression here it's gonna take five megabytes no big deal I hit export it's gonna ask me where I want to save it to and then I just hit save and there we go and now it's exported so I hope that was helpful hopefully you understand those that process a little better um, if you want to make changes to this and you close it again you say save changes yes and I'll say this to the downloads again um, if I were to close that and then I can do file open again and it'll open just like this so there it is the before and the after and you can see it's quite a bit different my clients can be much happier with this and in fact not only was it like this it was also cropped quite differently um you can go back to the original as well so uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed that i hope that was worth your time and see you later